As always, this is a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun in the washing machine. I'm gonna, I don't know what that is, but it's just dirt. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this inside out since this is going to be ice dyed. Okay, after that's done, I'm going to take this, fold this back, do the same on the other side. Sure, why I'm having such a hard time lining stuff up this time. Let's see if I can fix that. Let's go ahead and fold this all at once. Try to keep it as straight as possible. So I'm going to go from the tip here to about the center line. See if I can keep that in place as I pull this. Great. Then I get to try to re-straighten all this. this over and then I'm going to tie here to here and keep repeating that process all the way down and I'll probably speed up this part of the video we've got a problem here. I didn't foresee this issue when I dreamt up the idea of this. Hmm. I'd hate to tuck it back under in there. I have to tuck it over. And I hate to do stuff like that. Go with it like that. See how that works. See, that's the fun of coming up with these ideas and then actually turning them into reality and going, hey, there's a problem with that fold. How are you going to do that? So, off to dye. Okay, I normally don't do tying when it's not on video, but I got to the dye table and I realized this didn't have enough for what I normally do. So what I've done is I've added one in between all the diagonals. So I did these and I decided I needed to get this on camera. So it's basically from one side to the other. Like that.
that. I'll just cut this in between. All right, so that's what I'm actually going with for the die. Okay, for this I'm using Burgundy, Power Berry, and Cerulean Blue. And these are all from Dharma. So, I'm just going to alternate between the three and work my way down. And in case you can't tell on here, this goes like this, back down, back up, over, and like that. This is not separate from this. Or is it? Is it? That is separate. Okay, we'll buy this last one separate. No, it's not. That's all one piece. Yeah, I'm confusing myself again. All right, let's get started. Yes, I know. Before anybody says it, I forgot to put the borders up on it so that I could do this without making a giant mess. So I'm torturing myself yet again for not putting cardboard around it. All right, I'm gonna let this melt through and then we'll do something for the backside. I'm not sure if I'm gonna rotate the colors or solid color or what. All right, so the ice is mostly melted through. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. And just a reminder, I started with the burgundy. It's more of a reminder to myself than anything. All right, so I'm gonna shift it by one. So we'll start with the Power Berry, Cerulean, and then the Burgundy for this run up. And we'll start at the bottom and work our way up the same as before. All right, I'll let that melt through and we'll let it sit until it's time for washout. Alright, let's take a quick look and then throw it in the washing machine. Alright, I'll wash this out and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so what do you think? I think this came out completely different than most of the other stuff I've done before. I usually don't do 
I, I wouldn't even call that an accordion since it was just a couple of flaps and with a different type of tie pattern all the whites actually stayed white and crisp um, I think the colors actually worked maybe throwing in a I don't know two other well three other colors and doing the front and the back different colors slightly different or maybe radically different instead of just rotating by one but as far as the patterns go I, I like the patterns you can almost see faces in it um, overall I, I really do like this design I might play around with this one quite a bit more see what changes I can make that'll make a pretty significant difference in the final results so until next time thanks for watching the channel